Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. Thank you so much for coming to this little corner of Father's Vineyard here on the earth. We're so glad you guys are here. We love it that you join us each day or whenever you can. It really is. This is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice in it and we will be glad. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for every single second we're going to have this day, for the breath we breathe, for the beat of our heart. Father, we want our hearts to beat as one with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the plans you have made. Thank you for the hope you give. Thank you for the strength you give us to be able to do the things that we need to get done. Thank you, Father, for reminding us from time to time to slow down and be still and to know that you are God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for every person you bring to this little corner of your vineyard here on the earth. We thank you for the things you're doing in each life, for the love and the grace and the mercy, for the peace and the strength and the courage, for the wisdom, for opening our eyes to see what we long to see, Lord God and our ears to hear what we long to hear. We want to see you and we want to hear you, Father. We know we're not worthy. Oh, Lord God, we can look in our own lives and see the things that are uh, still under construction. We ask you to forgive us, Lord, for our sins. We want to come to you with clean hearts and clean hands. Father, we look around in this world and we see so many people with so many needs. Lord, we feel completely inadequate. We can't do anything without you. Not anything of any value. But God, you said we can do all things through you because you give us the strength. And Father, I don't believe that's the strength we need to go out and do all the wrong things. I think you're saying that we can do all of the things that you've called us to because of the strength you pour into us. Thank you for that, Father. Lord, as we prepare to go into this day or to go on with this day, if we're already into it, we want to remember the people that have so much less than what we have. The ones who are doing without, that have no food, no place to lay their heads. The ones who are sick, are broken. 
the ones who are struggling with fear and panic and feeling overwhelmed, God. Lord, our hearts go out to them, but we cry out to you. Show us what we can do. We want to be, we want to be what you want us to be in this world. We want to honor you with the things we say and do. We want to bless the lives of other people. We want to share what you've taught us and what you've given us, what you've shown us. You're merciful, Father. We want to be merciful, too. And Father, you can look at each one of us and see the broken places in us, the places that still need healing, or the places that still need humbling. And we come to you and lay our lives down before you, these lives you gave us. We ask you to have your way. Work in us whatever you want to work in us, God. And work out with us whatever we need to work out. Lord, I pray over every single person who's here in the vineyard. I don't know their needs, but you do. I know some, but I don't know all of them. And God, we pray and we thank you, even for your scriptures you're reminding me of right now in Matthew 6 where you told us we don't need to be worried about anything. The flowers of the field are beautiful. They're gonna fade. The birds of the air, you feed them. You feed them, God. We can't add one more day to our lives by worrying about anything. So, Father God, we pray over everyone here in the vineyard and over your people everywhere that the greatest desire and the greatest work we enter into for the rest of our days here is to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness your promise is that everything we need will be added to us, but God, that's not why we seek. We seek because you're worthy to be sought after. We seek you because you are worthy to be praised. And just like Peter said, there's no, there's no one else. And honestly, Father, we don't want there to be anyone else but you. So thank you for being God. Thank you for being faithful Father, almighty, all-powerful, holy God. Thank you for being all that you are. Thank you for continuing to labor with us and continuing to teach us about you if we will just pursue you. And Father, thank you for, want, for wanting to have a relationship with us. Thank you, God. There's nobody like you in all the earth. There's nobody like you in heaven. There's nobody like you anywhere. You are a wonderful counselor, mighty God, Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father. You are the Holy One of Israel. You are faithful and true, King of kings and Lord of lords. We lift our prayers to you in the name of our Savior, in your own name, the name of the living word of God, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. Amen. God bless you guys. 
We love you so very much. You have an awesome day with the Lord, okay? We will see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.